a bike corral is a term in transportation planning that basically looks to provide abundant bike parking in front of businesses in lieu of a vehicle parking space. The main reason why cyclists prefer the hoop racks uh, to the hitching posts is that you lean your bike right up against either side of the post. If there's a bike there already, you can flip your bike in the opposite direction and again have full contact against the hoop. And you can pick the spot you want to lock. Do you want to lock your front wheel and your frame? Do you just want to lock the frame? The main drawback to the hitching posts is that they don't stabilize the bikes very well. So when you lock up your bike, you have only one place to lock. There's one small ring to lock to. And a lot of times you go away, you do your thing, you have your sandwich, you come back and your bike's fallen over. And what the corrals really do is they, they provide a place, a visible place for people to park their bikes. Um, they're not worried about them getting stolen because they're right in front of businesses with lots of eyes and lots of foot traffic. Uh, and they really are beneficial to the businesses as well because absent that convenient parking location, People who arrive by bike bring their bikes onto the patio or they lock them up to a fence or a tree. Um, sometimes they block the sidewalk and if someone's coming by in a wheelchair, they can't get by because the bicycle is in the, in the way. The bike corrals that we have in Santa Barbara right now are right here in front of Handlebar Coffee on Canterbury Edo Street. Um, there's uh, hoop style uh, bike racks on, on uh, Chapala Street at De La Guerra in front of Eureka Burger. Uh, we also have a corral in front of Figaro Mountain Brewing Company at Helena and Yananali. And the newest corral is on Santa Barbara Street uh, at Llama Dog and Topa Topa. We took out one parking space there uh, to put in about eight uh, bicycle parking uh, spots. And I was just there yesterday and about one or two spots were open. So pretty well used already. In front of City Hall, there was three um, hitching posts. I replaced those with the permission of the um, Historic Landmarks Commission chair. Um, so those are on the sidewalk in front of City Hall, uh, and those really help. So on Coast Village Road, right in the middle of Coast Village, the city has partnered with um, the development community there. They're going to purchase about uh, half the cost of the bike corral, the, the, basically the hoops and the um, wheel stops and the delineators, and the city's crew will go out and install that. We're about a month away from seeing yet another bike corral go in. Where would you like to see some of the next bike corrals to match me? I was at the public market a couple days ago, and I know there's some hitching posts on the sidewalk there. It's not a very wide sidewalk. Um, I think the trade-off would be strong there to take out a vehicular parking space and put in a corral, um, say on Victoria Street, I believe it is. I think that would be well used. And actually, down on Haley Street, um, uh, in front of the Mexican restaurant and Loa Tree and, and SB Bike there near the corner of Olive. There's definitely demand enough for people who um, you know, come to those locations by bike to get a corral in at that location. I think the one place where the Historic Landmarks Commission would like to maintain the hitching post is along State Street. And I think that's a good concession. Leave the hitching post on State Street. But really, from a functionality standpoint, um, there's a lot of opportunity to improve the bike parking in other parts of town with the hoop style racks.